everyone, I hope you're well. The theme of today's flow is all about opening the heart, so we will be focusing on postures that stimulate and aim to rebalance our heart chakra. So whenever you're ready, come down to the mat, we're going to begin in a child's pose. So what we're looking for here is bringing the big toes to touch, taking the knees apart and just sinking the chest into the earth, reaching the arms forward. Just drop the head down to the mat and close down the eyes. Take a deep inhale through the nose and exhale sigh out of the mouth. Just letting go of anything that doesn't serve you in this moment. Inhale, feel the rib cage expand as the breath comes in and exhale, sigh out of the mouth. One more like this, inhale and exhale. Now close down the mouth and begin to take equal inhales and exhales through the nose. Inhaling and exhaling. On your next inhale, push up to find an all fours position. Gently flicker the eyes open. We want the wrists directly stacked underneath the shoulders, the knees underneath the hips. Looking for the length through the spine, drawing the navel in. We're just going to take some gentle cat cows. So as we inhale, we drop the belly, lift the chest up and forward, lifting the gaze. And exhale, pull the navel into the spine, rounding through the back, dropping the head. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart forward, lift the gaze. And exhale, rounding through the spine, dropping the head. One more like this, inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart, the gaze. And exhale, round through the spine, dropping the head. On your next inhale, just come back to find a neutral spine. We're going to work through some bird dog variations. So reaching the right arm out in front of you, the left leg straight behind, keeping long through the spine, really draw the belly in. Inhale here and exhale, bend the knees into the elbow, round through the spine, really squeeze through the core. Inhale, stretch it all out. Exhale, pull it all in, dropping the head. One more here, inhale, and exhale, plant the right hand back down the left knee, and we'll go on the second side. Inhale, reach the left arm forward, the right leg back, and exhale, draw the elbow in the knee, squeezing through the core. Exhale, stretching forward. Exhale, pull it all in. One more here, inhale, stretch it all out, and exhale, plant the left hand back on the mat, dropping the right knee. Inhale, untuck the toes, really press firmly into the mat, exhale, hover the knees just an inch off the floor, feeling the core firing up for a count of five, four, three, two, one, and push the hips up and back for downward facing dog. Really press the hands firmly into the mat, spreading the fingers. Feel an outward spiraling of the upper arm, drawing the shoulders down the back and away from the ears, really lengthening through the spine, lifting the sit bones high to the sky, and drawing the energy down the backs of the legs into the earth. If we're working with slightly tighter hamstrings, just take a soft bend in the knees, maybe lift the heels slightly. Here for one more breath, inhale and exhale. On your next inhale, bend the knees slightly, look forward and tiptoe to the top of your 
the mat, bringing your feet in between the hands. Take a soft bend in the knees, let the chest rest on the thighs, and just hang out here in forward fold. If it's available to you, maybe catch both elbows and just softly sway from side to side, letting go of any tension you may be holding on to. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, let go of your elbows, bend the knees and slowly roll up through the spine one vertebrae at a time, letting your head be the last thing to come up. Take a nice big shoulder roll and exhale, draw the shoulders down, let the arms go by your side. For Tadasana. Now we're looking for our big toes to touch, feel slightly apart, but if that doesn't work for you, just take your feet hip width apart. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead, gaze to the thumbs. Exhale, fold the body forward, keeping a long spine. Inhale, lift up halfway, keeping length through the spine. Exhale, fold the body forward. Inhale, plant the hands on the mat, step the right foot back, the left foot back for plank pose. And exhale, pull the heart forward, gently lower the knees, untuck the toes, and lower the body in one straight line all the way to the floor, keeping the elbows tucked in. Inhale, squeeze through the thighs, lift the head and the heart forward and up for cobra, draw the shoulders down and away from the ears, again tucking the elbows tightly into the ribcage, and exhale. Inhale, plant the hands, push the hips back for child's pose, and know that you can come here at any moment during the practice if you need to. Exhale, untuck the toes, send the hips to the sky for downward facing dog. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward, step the right foot to the top of the mat, the left foot to join. Exhale, fold the body forward. Inhale, lift up halfway, long spine. Exhale, fold the body forward. Inhale, roll the body up all the way to stand, sweeping the arms up overhead, and exhale straight away, fold forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold the body forward. In inhale, plant the hands, step the left foot back, the right foot back for plank pose. Inhale, draw the heart forward, and this time, you may keep the knees up for full chaturanga, lowering the body again on one straight line, halfway down, tucking the elbows tight into the ribcage. Inhale, roll forward over through the toes, pushing up for upward facing dog. Again, drawing the heart up and forward, lifting the gaze, squeezing the elbows in, squeezing through the legs as well. Exhale, push the hips up and back for a downward facing dog. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward, step or hop to the top of your mat. And exhale, fold the body forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll up all the way to the top, sweeping the hands overhead, one more like this, and forward fold as you exhale. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, plant the hands, step or hop back to plank pose. Really strong through the thighs, really pressing into the mat with your hands. 
and as you exhale, pull the heart forward and lower in one long line, tucking the elbows in for Chaturanga. Inhale, roll forward over the toes, lift the chest, the gaze for upward dog and exhale, push the hips up and back for a downward facing dog. Inhale here and exhale. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward, step or hop to the top of your mat and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll all the way up to standing, reach the arms overhead, gaze to thumbs and exhale, hands to prayer at heart centre. Well done. On your next inhale, sweep your arms up overhead, taking a slight back bend, and exhale, fold the body forward. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, plant the hands, step or hop back to plank pose. Exhale, lowering through your chaturanga. Inhale, roll forward. Over the toes, lift up for upward facing dog. Exhale, hips to the sky for downward facing dog. On your next inhale, reach the right leg to the sky. Three legged dog. Exhale, bend the right knee in, knee to nose. Inhale, reach the right leg to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, really squeeze in the core. Inhale, right leg to the sky. This time, exhale, step the right foot in between the hands, planting the foot on the mat, drop the left knee to the mat, untuck the toes, and inhale, sweep the arms up for a low crescent lunge. And exhale. Inhale, reach the arms up, and as you exhale, sink a little bit deeper. Oh, cactus the arms, open the chest, Gaze is lifted. Inhale here and exhale. Feeling a nice stretch across the left hip flexor and the left thigh. Making sure to track the right knee directly over the ankle. One more, in, one more here. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, planting the hands on the mat, framing the right foot. Inhale, reach the right arm to the sky, twisting the sternum to the right hand side of the mat for a low twisted lunge. And if it's available to you, bend the left foot in, catch it with your right hand, and gently draw the heel into your left glute for a nice quad stretch. Inhale here, and exhale. Inhale and exhale, releasing the left foot, reaching the right arm back up to the sky. On your next inhale, untuck the left toes, lift the left knee, straighten the leg for, low, for a twisted lunge. And exhale. Inhale, really squeezing the thighs together, lift up for a high twisted lunge, keeping that twist in the upper spine to the right hand side, feeling the energy draw across the back, the arms in opposite directions. Exhale here. Again, keeping the right knee directly tracked over that right ankle, strong through the left leg. Inhale, sweep the right arm forward, twisting the torso to face the top of the mat and lift both arms up for high crescent lunge. Again, squeezing through the thighs, strong bend through the front leg, feeling really grounded into the earth. Inhale and exhale. Plant the hands on the mat. Inhale, step the right foot back to plank pose. Exhale, draw the heart forward and lower in one straight line halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, push up and forward for upward facing dog opening the heart to the sky. Exhale, hips up and back for downward facing dog. Well done team. Second side, inhale, reach the left leg this time to the sky. 
exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, right leg, left leg, sorry, to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. One more like this. Left leg to the sky for three-legged dog. And exhale, step the left foot in between the hands. Plant the foot on the mat. Drop the right knee, untuck the toes. And inhale the arms up for low lunge. Again, feeling a nice stretch across the right hip flexor this time. The right thigh and keeping the left knee tracking directly over the right ankle, the left ankle. Inhale the, left, the arms up and exhale, cactus the arms, lifting the chest to the sky, the gaze sinking a little bit deeper if that's available to you. Inhale, stretch up and exhale, sink a little deeper, cactus the arms. One more, inhale. And exhale, cactus the arms, lift the heart, gaze to the sky. Inhale, reach up and exhale, plant the hands on the mat, freeing the left foot. This time as you inhale, reach your left arm up to the sky, twisting the sternum to the left hand side of your mat. And if it's available to you, draw the right foot in for a nice quad stretch. Inhale, and exhale. One more here, inhale, and exhale. Release the right foot, reach the left arm to the sky. Inhale, untuck the right toes, stretch through the right leg for a twisted lunge. Exhale here. Inhale, really squeezing through the thighs, Coming up for high twisted lunge. Again, strong bend through the front leg, knee directly over the toes, long straight right leg, and keeping the twist in the back, feeling the energy in opposite directions through the fingers. Inhale, sweep the left arm down and forward, twisting the torso to face the front of the mat, Reach the arms up for high crescent lunge. Inhale and exhale. Squeezing the thighs together, feeling really grounded into the earth. One more here, inhale and exhale. Plant the hands on the mat to frame the left foot. Inhale, step the left foot back for plant pose. Exhale, pull the heart forward and gently lower halfway down in one straight line, squeezing the elbows tight into the rib cage. Inhale, roll forward of the toes, lifting the heart and the gaze forward, drawing the shoulders down away from the ears, elbows tucked into the ribs. Exhale, lift the hips up and back for a downward facing dog. Well done team. Take one deep breath here and a sigh out of the mouth. <sighs> Inhale, bend the knees, look forward, step or hop to the top of your mat and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine, drawing the navel in. Exhale, fold the body forward. Inhale, roll all the way up to standing, sweeping the arms up overhead, Gaze to the thumbs. Exhale, hands to prayer at heart centre. Well done, everyone. On your next inhale, clasp the hands behind your back. Draw the energy away down the back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, opening the chest. Lift the gaze and exhale, fold the body forward. Inhale here and exhale. On your next inhale, squeezing the thighs together, release the hands, sweeping them down, forward and up. Set the hips back for Utkatasana chair pose. Again, drawing the shoulders away from the ears, squeezing the glutes, the thighs together for stability. Can we even lift the heels? Ooh. 
drawing the belly in. One more inhale here. And exhale, lower the heels for forward fold, straightening the legs. Inhale, lift up halfway. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, plant the hands, step or hop back to plank pose. Squeezing through the thighs, the core pressing into the mat. And exhale, draw the heart forward and lower in one straight line, halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, lift up for upward facing dog. And exhale, lift the hips to the sky for downward facing dog. Straight away, inhale the right leg to the sky. Exhale, stepping the right foot in between the hands. Inhale, lifting up, reaching the arms overhead for high crescent lunge. Again, squeezing through the thighs, strong bend in the right leg, knees directly over the ankle. One more inhale here and exhale, opening out for warrior two. Now we're looking for our back foot to be at a 90 degree angle to the side of the mat. Straight through the left leg, keeping the strong bend through the right leg. Hip bones facing the long edge of the mat. Look around. Open to the long end of the mat and drawing the energy through the arms, through the fingertips in opposite directions. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, drawing the energy up through the feet, through the legs, up through the crown of the head. Again, feeling really rooted into the earth. One more inhale here and exhale. On your next inhale, flip the palms, reach slightly forward, up and back for reverse warrior. Keeping that strong bend through the front leg and now stretch through the right side body. Placing your left hand just above your knee or if you'd like, taking it behind your back for a soft bind. One more breath here. And exhale, lift up through warrior two, windmilling the arms, down to frame the right foot, turning onto the ball of the left foot. Inhale, step the right foot back to plank pose. Exhale, pull the heart forward, lower all the way to the mat for one straight line. Untucking the toes. Inhale, reach the arms back, bend, both knees in, catch the ankles with your hands, inhale, lifting up for bow pose, really squeeze the thighs together, squeezing the shoulder blades together and pushing the feet into the hands as much as possible, opening the chest forward. Here for one more breath and exhale, release. Inhale, hands under the shoulders, untucking the toes, and exhale, push up and back for downward facing dog. Left side, inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, step in between the hands, and inhale up for high crescent lunge. Again, strong through the thighs, left knee tracking over the ankle. Inhale, and exhale, open up for warrior two on the second side. Again, 90 degree angle in the back foot, strong bend through the left leg, hip bones facing the side of the mat and feeling the energy drawn opposite directions beyond the fingertips. Gaze over the middle finger of your front hand. Inhale and exhale. As you inhale, flip the palms, reach up and forward and back for reverse warrior. Again, keeping the strong bend through the front thigh, really strong through the back leg. 
taking a soft bind with the right arm behind your back if that's available to you. Inhale here and exhale. One more inhale and exhale. Come up through warrior two and windmill the arms down to frame the left foot on the back turning onto the ball of the right foot. Inhale, step the left foot back for plank pose. Exhale, draw the heart forward and again lower all the way down to the mat in one straight line, tight elbows into the rib cage. Untuck the toes when you're there. Inhale, reach the arms back, bend the feet in, grab the ankles with your hands, Inhaling, lift up for bow pose. Pull the heart forward, squeezing the thighs together, pushing the ankles into the hands and drawing the shoulder blades together. Inhale and exhale. One more here, team, well done. Inhale and exhale. Release down to the mat. Inhale. Hands under the shoulders, untuck the toes. Exhale, pushing up and back for downward facing dog. One breath here. And exhale, just sigh it all out. Inhale, drop the knees down for tabletop and come to a kneeling position. We're gonna go into camel. So lift up to a kneeling position squeeze through the thighs. We're putting our hands on our lower back, fingers face, um, facing down, drawing the shoulder blades together, squeezing the elbows together. And as you inhale, lift up through the chest, really pulling the heart to the sky, lift the gaze for our modified camel. Now you want, might just want to stay here, but if you want to come with me, Take your right hand and hold on to your right heel and lift the left arm to the sky for half camel. Feeling a nice stretch across the front of the body, really squeezing through the glutes to protect our lower spine. Inhale and exhale. Gently lower the hips slightly, come into a side bend, sweeping the torso forward and round to the other side. Catch the left heel with the left hand and reaching our right arm up to the sky for half camel on the other side. Really opening the heart to the sky, gaze is lifted and squeezing through the glutes, the hamstrings. Inhale and exhale, gently side bend to the left and roll the torso down and forward and roll the spine up. Now we'll come for full camel here if you would like. Otherwise, still stick with the modifications. This time we'll take both hands to our heels. So inhale, taking the right hand to the right heel, the left hand to the left heel. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, the thighs, the glutes. Open the heart to the sky for camel pose. And if it's available to you, just gently drop the head back. Well done team, this isn't an easy one. One more breath here, inhale and exhale. As you inhale, take both hands to your lower spine and gently lift yourself back up. Slowly drop the hips down to the heels, open the knees slightly and just very gently come into child's pose just to counter that back bend. Sinking the chest into the earth. Deep breath here, inhale and exhale. Bring the knees together, drop onto one hip and sweep the legs round for Dandasana. Inhale, reach the arms up and exhale.
exhale, gently fold forward from Paschimottanasana, dropping the head. If your hamstrings are slightly tighter, just don't fold down as far or take a soft bend in your legs. So we're looking for a nice long spine. Feeling that release through the hamstrings and release through the lower back. One more here, inhale and exhale. Rolling through the spine to come up. Inhale, bend the right knee in, planting the right foot on the mat. Take the right hand behind you, reach the left arm up as you inhale and exhale. Just take a gentle twist round to the right, hooking the left elbow to the outside of the right knee, gazing over the right shoulder for a nice twist here. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, come back round and take a gentle counter twist the other way. And inhale, come up to a neutral spine. We'll take it on the other side. Inhale, left knee in, planting the left foot on the mat. Inhale, reach the right arm up and exhale, hook onto the outside of the left knee and take a gentle twist round to the left, gaze over the left shoulder. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, take a soft counter twist the other way. Exhale, come back to a neutral spine. Slowly inhale here and exhale slowly lower all the way down to the mat for Savasana, our final resting pose. Close down the eyes and just let it all go. Take a deep breath in here and exhale. Well done team, you've worked so hard. Every time you exhale, just sink deeper and deeper into the earth as if you're lying amongst the bed of the comfiest cushions and blankets. Let your body soak up all the benefits, all of your hard work during today's practice. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Inhale, gently find some life into your body, wiggle the fingers, look at the toes, maybe take a big stretch overhead, full body stretch, and exhale, hug the knees into your chest, give yourself a well-deserved hug, and gently rock from side to side, giving your spine a nice massage. And when you're ready, roll onto one side into the fetal position, a symbol of rebirth. And as you inhale, roll up to a comfortable seated position, keeping your eyes closed. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way, sideways, up overhead, inhaling all that good energy and exhale. Bring your hands to prayer at heart centre. Thank you so much for practising with me today. And I want to take the time to thank yourselves for taking time out of your day to come to your mat, to honour your body and your mind, and just to give your body and mind some nice self-love. Inhale, take your hands to the space between your brows, your third eye centre. The love and light within me honours and recognises the love and light within all of you. Namaste.